Breaking news at three, a call for the removal of both the Fort Myers city manager and assistant city manager, and the call is coming from within. City employees sent an open letter to council members imploring them to be removed the pair immediately. Link News reporter Claire Galt joins us live now in the newsroom. Claire, you got that letter. Why do these city workers want them gone? Nicole, the letter accuses Fort Myers City Manager Marty Long and Assistant City Manager John Leggy of creating an environment of, quote, fear and retaliation. They warn City Council that morale in the city is the lowest it has ever been. Now, these unnamed uh, city employees accuse the two men of, quote, favoritism, disregard for employees and their needs, and heightened discriminatory hiring and promotion practices. And then there's even this line that is directed at Long specifically. It says, quote, everybody thinks he is clueless disconnected, uncaring, a misogynist, and a racist. Now, these are some very pointed and tough allegations. Obviously, I reached out to both Lawing and um, Leggy's offices. Their assistant told me they did not even know or hear about the letter yet. Now, Councilman Johnny Streets did see the letter, and when I talked to him about 45 minutes ago, I asked him directly if he thinks Lawing is a racist. Take a listen. Only Marty Lawing, uh, John Leggy, can answer that question. Uh, I have not seen any of that. That doesn't mean that it's not happening. So this is why it's to, to a certain extent we go back. I would think that we really need to do a full scale investigation. But have you personally experienced racism? At the hands of the city manager? Well, or I, I don't think right now that's that's a question that I would be prepared to answer because uh, there's many forms of certain things, uh, inequality. Uh, so uh, I, I'm, I'm not prepared to answer that question until I can confirm some things that I really know. Now, claims of racial insensitivity are not new to lawing or city council. He actually faced similar allegations at his previous job in North Carolina, and that is why Streets and the two other black members of city council, Teresa Watkins Brown and Tara Lynn Watson, actually voted against hiring him. Now, I also spoke to Mayor Kevin Anderson. He told me he is disheartened and he is shocked by the letter. Nicole Russ.